Bimal Mitra Academy, an organization in the name of well-known Indian author Bimal Mitra, presents here an audio play based on one of his popular stories. Following the great classical writers Rousseau, Tolstoy, Balzac, Dickens, the author has written great epics and novels representing about 300 years of Indian history in a very reader-friendly style with universal human appeals to make his literature extremely popular through translations in all the major Indian languages. The message of the story America, a popular story of author Bimal Mitra is this. This is a story of an American tourist. During his one day visit to the city of Calcutta, he faced such heartbreaking experiences that excited him to realize the abysmal depth of human suffering even among educated Indians. Indeed, a pathetic picture of Indian society rarely known to the people of America and of other developed countries. The story picturizes India after 13 years of her independence. So, the story starts with author Bimal Mitra. My acquaintances with Mr. Richard, an American tourist, was in the Calcutta Bombay flight. The flight took off from Damdam Airport at 6 o'clock in the evening. It was only a day stopover in Calcutta. I stayed in a hotel. It's difficult to judge a place by a day stay, but it happened that very day. Hopefully you'll get a story, though I haven't seen the end. Then please tell your experience from the very beginning. Coffee please, for both of us. As I stood on the hotel terrace in the evening, I recall that the British East India Company had founded the city of Calcutta. But where are the British now? And where is Queen Victoria? Yes, Queen Victoria then glorified India. The Queen included India in her British Empire. India acknowledged that kind act of her in telegrams and respectfully addressed her as the mother. Yes, Mr. Mitter, but that same country is now free. Indeed, it is a matter of glory as much to India as that to Britain. But sir, where is the story? Yes, of course. After dinner, I sipped coffee as I browsed the tourist guidebook. Being very tired, I went to bed with the book. As I got drowsy, I couldn't respond to the knocks at the door. As more knocks came, I sat up and asked. Who? Who's that? I opened the door and found... Good evening, sir. Good evening. What's the matter, young man? Well, sir. Very charming college girl, sir. May kindly see the sample photographs. May please choose anyone. Yes, whichever you fancy. All from respectable families. Here is Lolita. She's just 19. Don't worry about rates. My rates are fixed. But they are cheap. Affordable. Only rupees 50 per hour. Stop this nonsense. Let me ask you some questions. Have you got hotel management's permission for this? Please spare me, sir. I beg to be forgiven, sir. No, never. I shall hand you over to the police. Come. Please let me go, sir. I promise never again to come here. Believe me, I am a graduate of Calcutta University. Poverty compelled me to take this mean trade. I will get food for my children. My wife has TV. Chakraborty, can you prove that you are a graduate? Can you show me a certificate? Yes, sir. I'll show you uh, tomorrow. No, I want to see that right now, tonight. Tonight, sir? Yes, tonight. What a nasty place.
place, Chakraborty. No electricity. Street dogs barking in the night. Horrible, Chakraborty. But who are the people living here? As Mr. Chakraborty took me inside the room, no American can ever think of such a pathetic scene in any corner of the world. Indeed, Mr. Richard. You had a very, very tragic experience. Mr. Mitter, wait, please. Let me come to the climax. 